find the equation of a sphere passing through the points P, which is negative 2, 1, 4, and point Q, which is defined as 8, negative 7, 3, with, a, with its center at the midpoint of the vector PQ. All right, so the whole goal here is to find the equation of the sphere. And we're given a nice hint right off the bat. We have that its center, or its center point, is at the midpoint of the line segment PQ. So let's make that the first thing that we find. We'll find the center point. I'm going to abbreviate CP for our center point. So let's recall that the midpoint formula in space, or in three dimensions, is defined as the ordered triplet x, y, z, where x is the sum of the two x coordinates of the endpoints divided by 2, y is defined as the sum of the two y coordinates divided by 2, and z is the sum of the two z coordinates divided by 2. So let's see, here we are given, so let's label our point P as x sub 1, y sub 1, z sub 1, which is equal to negative 2, 1, 4. And then point Q is x sub 2, y sub 2, z sub 2, which is defined here as 8, negative 7, 3. So plugging these points in, we have x, y, z is equal to negative 2 plus 8 divided by 2, 1 minus 7 divided by 2, and then 4 plus 3 divided by 2. So we have 2, negative 2 plus 8 to give us a positive 6. 1 minus 7 will give us a negative 6. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. So our center point here, we're going to be left with 6 divided by 2 is 3. Negative 6 divided by 2 leaves us with minus 3. And then, unfortunately, 2 does not go into 7, so we are left here with 7 halves. So this is our center point. So the next thing that we want to do here is to find the radius length. The radius length of our sphere, R. And let's actually move this up so we have plenty of room. So let's actually draw ourselves a quick little sphere here as we decide what points to do. There's our circle, and adding a third dimension, we have our sphere. All right, so if this is our center point, right, the, radius the radius length is the distance from the center point to any point on the sphere. So this point here could be P or Q. I'll leave that up to you. You're going to get the same answer either way. So here, I'm going to choose, actually let's just label, we know that our center point, we just found it, that X naught, Y naught, Z naught, to be 3, negative 3, positive 7 halves. And then I'm going to choose point P here simply because it has smaller values, but keep in mind that you could use Q as well and get a correct answer. So point P is our X sub 1, Y sub 1, Z sub 1, which was given to us as negative 2, 1, 4. So to get this radius length, we need to find the distance between these two points. So our radius R or using our distance formula is going to be let's see x sub 1 minus x naught squared plus y sub 1 minus y naught squared plus z sub 1 minus z naught squared. And plugging our values in, we have the square root of negative 2 minus 3 squared plus... 1 minus a minus 3, so 1 plus 3 squared, plus 4 minus 7 halves squared. And that is all still underneath the square root. So we'll have the square root of negative 5 squared, 
plus 4 squared. Plus, so we can think about this 4 here as being uh, 8 halves. So we have 8 halves minus 7 halves to leave us with plus 1 half squared. So we have negative 5 squared gives us 25, plus 4 squared is 16, and then 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So let's do this in two pieces. We've got 25 plus 16 to leave us with 41. So 41 plus 1 fourth, all underneath that square root. So again, we'll get a common denominator here. So thinking about 1 fourth or thinking about 41 as being over 1, we can multiply the numerator and denominator there by 4, which leaves us with the square root of 164 plus 1 divided by 4. So our beautiful final answer here for the radius length, so say r is the square root of 165 divided by 4. So we've got our radius length, and we have our center point, our x naught, y naught, z naught, which we found in the first part. And again, that point was 3, negative 3, 7 halves. So now we can take these two values and substitute them into the general equation for our sphere. So let's find the sphere. or the equation for the sphere. And again, keep in mind that a sphere centered at x naught, y naught, z naught with radius length r is defined in space as x minus x naught squared plus y minus y naught squared plus z minus z naught squared is equal to r squared. So plugging in what we found, we've got x minus 3 squared plus y. So here we have, which we'll do this out, we have minus a minus 3 squared plus z minus 7 halves squared is equal to the square root of 165 divided by 4 squared. So then we've got two little simplifications here. We've got this negative times a negative producing a positive. And then on the right-hand side of our equation, the square root and the square will cancel each other out, leaving us with the beautiful final answer of x minus 3 squared plus y plus 3 squared plus z minus 7 halves squared is equal to 165 divided by 4. And this is our final answer.